Are you looking for a quick, easy, and elegant fish recipe for a weeknight dinner? Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to be making some sautéed sea bass and we're going to be uh, pairing that with some tomatoes, artichoke hearts, black katamala olives, and for the sauce I have some white wine, a small amount of heavy cream, some fresh dill, some lemon, and some dill for garnish, and salt and pepper. This is actually a very, very quick and easy dish. I'm going to actually just get my pan a little bit hot. So this is striped bass. You notice that I've kind of scored the back of it. When you cook fish with the skin on, the skin kind of crinkles up. If you hold the fish down hard enough and don't score it, the skin will remain intact, but scoring it just makes your life a little bit easier. So I have scored both sides. Before you begin to cook, I'm just gonna season both fillets with a little bit of kosher salt. Getting more on the counter than on the fish, but that's right. And a little bit of black pepper. I'm getting my pan pretty hot. To my pan, I'm going to add a couple, table, a couple teaspoons of olive oil. So our pan is now smoking hot. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming out. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take both fillets. And as I always say, I don't use a lot of oil. You can see just literally just a couple of teaspoons of olive oil in there. So you want this to be smoking hot, but the next part of it is because the skin is going to, like I said, kind of um, bunch up a little bit, you have to hold the fish down a lot. And the fish cooks rather quickly. I'm just gonna saute this for about a minute on this side, a minute and a half maybe. You can see over here, the fish is already starting to cook. You can see the outside. See how it's turning white over here? So the fish is cooking already. I wanna get the skin a little bit crisper. It's probably pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, pour off the oil. Because I'm going to be making the sauce right directly in the pan. I want to get rid of as much fat as I can. I'm going to flip this over. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the wine. We're going to pour it in with the fish. You don't want it boiling like that. The next thing, we're going to add some lemon juice. I was thinking that we might have to finish this in the oven, but I'm looking at it, and there's a good chance it's actually gonna be done cooking in a couple seconds, <laughs> so. And some lemon juice. Just a little bit of stir. I wanna actually see how much this is cooked. My oven's at 400 degrees. And like I said, I'm gonna cook this just for about four minutes or so in the oven. And I'll show you what it looks like in four minutes. See you shortly. Our fish has been in the oven for right about three or four minutes. And that's fully cooked. We'll put our flame back on. Maybe not. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to add our artichoke hearts to this. Going to add our olives. Going to add, maybe not all of our tomatoes, there's a lot of tomatoes there. Add some of our dill. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. So we can just 
Oh, you can mix. Looks good, nice and pretty. Bring it back up to a simmer. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some heavy cream to this. I'm gonna simmer this for half a minute or so. I don't want to boil heavy cream, but I can simmer it lightly. Just gonna give the sauce taste. Pretty good. And I'm gonna get a plate, I'm gonna put it on a plate, and I'll show you what it looks like. See you in two minutes. So I'm just gonna take some yellow rice, put some yellow rice down that I cooked off. Just some basmati rice that I have cooked. I'm gonna take some of our tomato mix, some stuff around the plate. Make sure I get some black olives in there. You could also add capers to this if you like capers. Let's take one of our fish fillets. Could do skin side up or skin side down. Some people like to um, see the skin. If you look at it like it looks nice with the skin. Um, however, I know the person that's gonna be eating this plate doesn't actually eat skin, so it'll be easier if the skin's at the bottom. That's why I actually did it that way. So, we're gonna take a little bit of our topping. Take a little bit of our sauce. Put a little bit more around the plate. right in the middle. There you go. Make a couple dill sprigs. Not crazy about the way that dill looks. Maybe you put one right over here better. Anyway, there's our plate. I actually did one over here with the skin side up so you can see how that one looks like. Really, really, really good. You get the lemon, you get the dill. The salt and pepper is perfectly balanced. The lemon complements the fish. Really, really nice dish. So anyway, if you're looking for a 15 minute uh, entree for you, for you and your significant other, here it is. If you've liked this video, please um, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and please tell me what type of fish you like to make. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.